What's up YouTube, this is Paul from Mickey Tech Tips, and today we're going to be talking about what has happened at the AMD live stream event that just happened that they broadcasted from Computex. So I guess let's get started. Okay, so they released a couple things from AMD's Computex live stream. They, re they announced the new RX 480, um, a new graphics card that's based on the new Polaris architectural. They also announced some 7th generation mobile architectural, and they announced the new Zen ar architectural, and what has been happening with that. Actually, Zen's been announced, but they just updated us about it which there was some good news about it which I'm kind of happy with because honestly right now I've been waiting to see what's happening with Zen so I guess let's break it down okay so the f first thing they brought up was the new RX 480 so the things priced at about a hundred and ninety nine US dollars for four gigabytes of DD GDDR5 RAM and some really good specs um, it can compute about 5 teraflops of compute performance. And it's a really compelling price option. They also had two of them in Crossfile and took shots directly at NVIDIA and showed two of them in Crossfile for 500 bucks against a single $700 1080 and it outperformed it in Doom by only a couple frames. But it still had about a little less than half of the... Um, compute power um, left after um, rendering out Doom. So, and the reason why they were able to retrieve that was because of the Vulkan API. Because remember, NVIDIA, I think, has licensed Vulkan from AMD, but they have not implemented it into their graphics cards yet. So we have not seen anything on about Vulkan too much yet on a... NVIDIA GPU. Now that is going to be coming up, but not, not at the moment. And then the next thing they announced was a new mobile processor. Oh, one more thing about that RX 480. I would love to see that compete up against one um, GTX 1070 and other titles, and maybe even two in like SLI, and then have one of those RX 480s by itself and in crossfire. It would be really neat to see the compute performance for that. Um, also, another thing I would like to see would be, let's see, I'd like to see some good Polaris graphics. Um, they That that new Polaris card, the RX 480, um, is geared towards VR and it's such a, an affordable VR setup. So we'll see how that goes. The next thing they announced was the 7th generation of AMD mobile APUs. The biggest stab was at Intel saying that it has 30, over 30% 30 more of graphics performance than an Intel mobile i7. But the thing is, if you look back on Intel and um, NVIDIA, Intel re a couple years ago signed a deal that did licensing from NVIDIA so they could make their mobile pro processor so, you know, mobile and desktop processors um, have better onboard graphics, and they also signed a um, thing allowing NVIDIA to use some of Intel's patents. So a lot of Intel systems you see have NVIDIA GPUs for that reason. And so like on a mobile system, if you're going to buy one for gaming, you're probably going to buy one of an i7 mobile processor with NVIDIA um, mobile GPUs. So like a good one would be that Acer laptop laptop that has a mobile GPU and like an Intel mobile i5 so yeah um, the next thing so they took a stab at that they had um, brought up Microsoft um, Intel not Intel my bad that'd be bad <laughs> um, they brought up Microsoft HP and Dell so yeah they touched on that and about the um, placement and then the last thing they touched on was Zen. It is called the it's a new Zen processor. They gave us an update and they actually showed off an actual CPU. Um, they only showed a f couple second video 
that was rendered out using a Zen processor, but they showed that. Um, the engineering sample looked really neat. Um, they only showed the front, but not the back, and that's the only thing I hate about AMD CPUs is that they have the PGA, the pin grid array, array instead of Intel's LGA land grid array, and I don't know if it's like, um, if the LGA is like patented or something, because I think the only people that have had LGA for the most part it has been Intel, so it would be nice to see maybe them do some kind of thing with an LGA um, chip, um, because right now I just, the only thing bad about that PGA socket is if you bend a pin, your processor could be screwed. But anyway, back to, as I was saying for the processor, so the new processor, um, I'm not going to mention the code name just because it was kind of confusing because they called it the new Zen processors, but then they gave it a code name for that processor, so I'm not going to mention it cause it's kind of confusing why they did that. But anyway, it's a new desktop processor, and it has 8 cores, 16 threads. And so, it's supposed to be, it's going to be a photo, I don't know yet, but it's going to be launching to the select part, priority customers in the next few weeks, and it's going to be launching to the public. Um, quarter three of this year, so it'll be like a month to two months from now, so around July, August, at the latest September, and that's neat seeing the progress on that, because they've been working on that for a couple years, and the bad thing about AMD is that they've had the same architecture on the processors for the last, um, like, I think it's been like five years or so, four or five years, which is kind of bad, because Intel's released a bunch of processors since then, so... It'd be nice to see what's happening with um, the AMD Zen architecture because right now I think it's kind of a bad time to buy a computer because they partially released Pascal for, for Intel. They released one Polaris card for AMD um, at, at a really good price point. And then they also... Um, they also talked about, what was it, yeah, and they also talked about the new Zen on AMD, and then, um, the new KB, like, and the new, I think it's Broadway with the 10-core processor is fixing to come out, so it's kind of a bad time to buy a computer, so I might hold off building my new custom computer codename Electric Bicycle for a month, I don't know yet, I might just go build it in July and just throw a skylight chip in sky like chip and I don't know yet but I might hold off wait to see how Zen plays out in KB Lake and I di didn't mention Broadway E because that's not my price point but it'd be neat to see how all th th those three um, processor um, um, perform so yeah that's kind of a bad time to build a computer even though people have been saying it for the last couple of years Right now is kind of really, really a bad time. So, yeah. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time. This is the video for this week. I'm going to be doing one video a week for the next couple weeks. I'm going out of town. Um, thanks to YouTube's auto upload, it'll be uploading automatically. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the next few videos. Also, how I mentioned um, how they announced Dell on there. I forgot to mention. They kind of had... Some good ideas for the new, with the um, Dell and Dell with the um, AMD's eight um, mobile CPUs. It'd be neat to see how that com performs against an Intel one. And I want to warn you about an upcoming video. Just because I talk about Dell in this one does not mean I necessarily hate them. It's kind of talking about my bad decision. You'll see in the video next week. So remember to like, comment, subscribe. I will see you guys next time.